Hey everybody, Prowl here, and welcome to another Minecraft Truly Bedrock episode. And today we are looking over top of the village city, and I apologize if the graphics might be a little bit choppy to start this video. Um, I am rendering a video in the background right now that I've had some trouble with, but uh, we'll, we'll make it through. It won't, it won't last for long. And um, what I'd like to take a look at, oh, and also sorry if you guys hear any noise in the background. There's, they're, they're like chopping down trees and neighbors, like, at my neighbor's house and there's chainsaws and all sorts of stuff going on in any event we're here in a village city and what i would like to actually do is i would like to add in some buildings here and slash or upgrade some of the buildings that are here currently so the only thing that i have here that's been done by me is the uh, building right there which looks pretty nice um but we need to we need to spruce this place up a little bit and i think i have just the thing that i'd like to do um, i would like to build a small blacksmith and i'd like to build it kind of close to the mountain over here but not all the way up against it because this blacksmith i the way i picture it is not only will it be the blacksmith and i'll have a furnace and stuff um to, to the side of it but um also it's going to lead down to a um Oh, I got haste. That's why that mine's so fast. It's going to lead down to a mine as well, because that would kind of make sense, right? The the miners go down, they get the ores, they bring it up to the blacksmith to uh, to smelt down, and we'll decorate the mine shaft and kind of make it look really nice. Um, we'll have to be careful with how we do this, because somewhere in that direction is TNC's uh, like old gold farm he had a while back. So we'll probably dig down a ways and then add a bend and maybe going that direction, I think would probably make the most sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather some materials. I might need to actually, um, actually like go farm some too. We're going to need uh, plenty of oak. It looks like, cause oak is the predominant uh, block of choice out here. Um, we're going to need some cobble, which I got plenty of that. And yeah, we'll start, we'll start building our blacksmith. And another thing I, I might want to do this episode too, is I feel like this needs some type of terraforming. Sorry for the glitchiness again. Um, because this, these land masses are, they don't look right. And I don't know that we'll like necessarily smooth them out, but we might need some retaining walls or something like that just to make it look like something's holding all of this dirt up. So we're going to think about that too. And we got a couple other little things we need to do this episode too. So I think we need to go ahead and start peeling some of this back to make room for our, uh, our blacksmith to go here so i'm just going to go ahead and start cutting a lot of this back and see what kind of room we can make for ourselves and actually instead i think i should probably go to fill that back in we're we're gonna we're gonna build up instead of instead of digging down let's make this area bigger yeah i think we need more space so let's go ahead and let's drag this out a little bit further and, uh, okay there we go <laughs> and I think what we'll do next is area out here, clear out some too. Probably need to move all of those shulker boxes and the ender chest as well. So we move on through our project. First, throwing in the foundation to uh, the building, getting the general shape down, and figuring out the size that we want to do. And I think the cobblestone base here is probably going to be what we go with and of course i want to start changing the sizes around here too and then next we're going to go through and start digging out where we're going to be putting our porch i think right here is probably going to work pretty good and uh three blocks deep should probably do the trick and then we'll go ahead and throw in some uh, wood because i think that'll probably work pretty good for the porch so we'll go ahead and get that in and then I get distracted <laughs> and then I'll go down and start digging out where our entrance to our mine cave is going to go because why not stop in the middle of the project and go and start digging out the mine. I think that'd probably be a pretty good idea. And then from there, I don't like the porch. We're going to go ahead and dig it out and we're going to go with something different. The wood's just not working for me over here. But will what will work for me is gravel. Yeah, I think gravel will fit a lot more for a uh, blacksmith shop. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then next we need to go and start building up our base of our building. Get the first level all put in and ready to go.
And then after we do that, I think now's a good time to go ahead and throw in the second level. The second level, we're actually going to bump out a little bit further than the first level. It'll give the building a bit of depth and give us a good opportunity to use oak, like what is used in the rest of the village. That way, what we build here kind of looks like it goes together with everything else. And uh, it gives the building a unique shape that nothing else has. After that, we'll go ahead and build up our second level here by throwing in some of these vertical pillars and figuring out exactly what height we want everything to be. And then once getting all those in, we'll go through and connect them all to create our roof line. And uh, this will kind of tie everything together and let us figure out exactly where we're going to put the roof to the building, get some more uh, oak look in here. And again, just give a little bit of color variation from what we've had so far with all the cobblestone. And then last, what we'll do is go ahead and figure out the porch area here. We'll throw some pillars up there um, and over here on this side. And then in the middle here, we're gonna build this one a little bit higher because of which way the roof's gonna be facing here. It's not gonna be facing the uh, exact same direction as the roof um, on the main building. So I think that'll work there. And then we'll probably throw in some pillars here as well. Of course, I got to go through and line those up. And once we get those pillars in, I think we'll be all set for the porch. So let's take a good look at it and see exactly how it all looks. And yeah, I think that's a good start and a, a good beginning to our blacksmith. All right, well, we are taking a short break from uh, working over there on the blacksmith. <clears throat> I want to come over here to the game area, and I want to write out an instruction book and place any proper signs that are needed. That way, we can officially have our... Uh, oh, gosh. Wow, the lag. Uh, where am I? Okay. Whew. Um, that way we can actually finally have our little mini game area all open and ready to go and invite people in to play. So I'm going to need to think of a good location. Oh gosh. Um, to put the, uh, lectern, I need to write out the book and I need to place some signs so people know what things are and exactly what to do. Therefore they can start and come over here and race without me and it not be a frustrating thing to have to do. Uh, we have our instructions here i'm not going to read them but i'll i'll um slowly go over the pages here that way you guys if you would like to read can go ahead and pause and do so and there we go but those will be all the instructions hopefully they are clear enough for everybody to get it here is the starter gear area where you go and get your starter gear i think it's pretty self-explanatory um, these storage lockers where everybody can go and store their things, which I think somebody left a bunch of stuff in here. This one? Yeah, somebody left like all their stuff. It must have been TNC or Liar or somebody. I don't know. I'll have to check with them and see. Uh, we need to make sure we close our starter gates here. There we go. When you're done racing, you throw all your items in there and you're good to go. And the race is all ready to go. There's still some little decorative things that need to be done that can go back through and maybe fill up some of the um some of the dispensers or yeah the dispensers uh but they do have plenty of items in them still so i think everything is fine and good to go um hopefully nobody tries to take this shortcut although i think if anything it probably i don't know it'd still probably be quicker than going through but i did put in the rules to stay on the track so tnc took the shortcut last time i made it a little bit longer but i don't think we'll have that problem anymore and it's all good to go all right well let's go and now that i've taken a break from working on which is over that way the uh, blacksmith let's go and uh, see what we can do to finish that up white concrete powder I'm pretty sure is gonna be what's gonna look good up here uh, it'll give us a nice clean look for the blacksmith um, it'll definitely give us some good color variation against the uh, dark oak not the dark oak the regular oak and the cobblestone and everything and I think it'll make this upstairs area look a lot more like a living quarters and at some point after we get all of this in, I'm pretty sure we'll carve out some windows into it too, just to kind of make everything look nice and clean. Now let's go ahead and take a look. So I have gone ahead and I threw some windows in. I got everything filled in. And yeah, I think, ow! I think, it's, I think it is giving us the, the look we want. Here, let's get this creeper guy out the way. 
I think it is giving me that look that I'm um, I'm looking for. Again, it kind of looks like that's supposed to be a living quarters up there, which I don't think I kind of plan on that from the start. But now that I'm seeing it, it definitely is looking a lot more like that, which I think is fine. I think the, like the blacksmith lives above his shop is kind of the, the idea there. So I think we're going to look with at it and run with it. And yeah. All right, let's go up here. I actually threw on the roof already. I did all that off camera. I didn't feel like I needed to put that on here. I'm not very good at roofs, but we'll go ahead and throw in some of this detail work here just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, like a thickness or border and a little bit more shape than just throwing a standard roof on will. Using extra um, stairs for that is a good way to do it. Let's uh, let's go take a look here and see how that how that's going to work for us. Oop, we'll go ahead and fix that. And then actually I'm gonna do this other side first real quick. All right, so now we gotta build the forge or hearth area, whichever you wanna call it. I like to call it a forge. Um, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get this thing framed in. This will kind of be where he goes to actually build his tools, the blacksmith that lives here. And we'll just go ahead and I guess make it out of cobble as well. Would kind of look good. It fits with the building style and it looks more like a, like a kind of old timey, like medieval, forge as opposed to it being something that's really like expensive or upgraded again this isn't supposed to be like a rich village we'll throw these stairs in right here too just to give it a little bit of shape down at the bottom all right now up at the top here just need to carve out some of the roof and uh, continue to bring bring this up right here i think will be exactly what we need i don't know how high i want to take it quite yet maybe like Oops, get that. Um, maybe like right above the roof, or maybe like right below the roof level, or right at roof level. I don't know. Let's keep building up. Let's kind of see see how it looks here. Out some more of the roof over there too. There we go. And let's go ahead and knock these guys out. I guess build this rest of the way up. Can I reach? No. I have to go down. And yeah, this will bring it the rest of the way up. Is that too high? I don't know if that's too high. Yeah, I think I might want to bring it down just a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring it down a level. All right, so now I want to go over. We're going to take a break from the house because it's almost done, the blacksmith. And I need to figure out exactly what I'm going to put here. I'm thinking what we'll use these spruce pillars will kind of give us that a little bit rougher look for the mine. And we'll probably space them out like every like three blocks there'll be a gap that way uh, we have an odd number to work with in there we could throw some kind of detail in between i think it'll work good let's go ahead and let's throw them on the other side here as well and up can i reach that yeah there we go all right yep i think that's going to do the trick all right now let's try some birch am i, am I mixing too many woods together i don't know i didn't want to keep everything looking the same as what i had up there i wanted to differentiate it a little bit so let's let's throw some light here. Let's see what the birch looks like. I feel like it'll give us a good contrast to the um, spruce logs, but at the same time, it kind of goes with the smooth stone there being a lighter color. I think I'm feeling it. I kind of like that. Do you guys like that? I need to do something in the middle though. I think I got an idea. Go ahead. Let's chop out this middle. Yes, let me dig. Let's get some depth. Let's dig in just a little bit further. Yeah. And uh, let's see, what do I want to do in here? Okay, all right, I got a plan. I got a plan. Try some fences. Let's see what those look like. I don't want it down there, though. I put in there. there we go. Let's try running some fence all the way up and down. How's that going to look? On the top, yeah. Eh, no, I'm I'm not a fan. Let's see if this does anything. We need a light source in here too, so let's throw this in. Eh, no, I'm not I'm not quite feeling it. I don't think. Let's take that out. I don't think I'm feeling the fence either. What can we put? I think. What if we do this? What if we throw a light in the top and bottom? Will that change things any? And then maybe a tiny bit better, but I'm still I'm still not feeling it honestly. See what it looks like when we walk by. 
No. Okay. All right. I got the perfect idea. We're gonna throw some stairs in. Then it doesn't look right down there. No. I don't like that. I think we're getting somewhere though. Well, let me try. Let me try this. There's. Face them like this. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And what if we do this? What if we do this? Pop that out right there. Ooh. Yeah. I I think that's it. I think I think I like that. Yeah. That looks good. I do like that. Uh, let's see. Could I put anything in the middle? Uh, no. Nope. No. Nope. Uh. Uh. No. All right. Let's get that out of there. I think I think this is what we're gonna go with. I think this is gonna look good, and we just need to put this in all of the other spots up here on the wall. So I'm gonna start prepping this area now and getting all that in there. And now I feel like I need to dig this out some. This needs to be bigger. We need more space. So I'd like to create some type of small like work area over here, I think. And this work area would make sense for somebody mining. We'll put some things there that the miners would need to go down and collect all of their all of their stuff. So we're just gonna dig this area out, make it a little bit bigger, just so we have room for that and it doesn't feel too crowded. And it, it looks like a little workstation. And we also have to dig enough to fit our walls in because we're gonna have to put some walls in. We'll probably use just use the birch that we used um, down the tunnel would make the most sense. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and put our birch. Whoops, I don't need to put anything in this corner. So might as well save save the birch. I think we're gonna go ahead and fill in the birch walls and let's see how it actually looks when it's in. Let's see if this is something that's gonna work for us. Oop, fill that in. I do, whoop, that's the wrong block. I do like how it's coming together so far though. I do think it's it's starting to look really good. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Let's, oh, can we stop doing that? Thanks. Okay, let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's place that down. And I guess I'll just go ahead and fill all this in too. And hopefully it looks as good as I think it will. All right, well, the Smith shop is all done now. I guess it's not a shop, the Smith building. I think it's all done now. It looks looks really good. We got our, our stove there. Uh, no interior. I want to have a talk with Jesse. I think, about the interior. See if she can help us out. We got some ores over here. Uh, we got a beaten path going down this way with some more ores that have been collected over here, waiting to be smelted in the smithery. And then uh, we have uh, our decorated hallway here, some andesite and polished andesite leading down to here. And it's going to kind of just end right there. Um, <laughs> this place is really more decorative. So outside of somebody just kind of looking down here and seeing, uh, I don't think I'll make it any, do any more to it than this. Although who knows, maybe sometime I'll come back down here and do that. Or it'll be fun for somebody to do um, if they do the world download later. But I do think that this place is all done here. Let's call it, hmm, you know what? Before I name this place, I got an idea to add in an armor stand for one of the uh, newest gold tier members on my uh, Patreon, which is the Minos family. Uh, we have one of them that have the uh, gold tier and then he, he has Moonstar has like a ton of of people from his family. I think there's like five or six of them <laughs> that are patrons. So we would definitely like to pay tribute to them. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dedicate one as he wishes to the Minos family. Go ahead and put some pants on him because that'd probably be appropriate to do. <laughs> let's throw this down and let's go ahead and rename this the Minos family. Name tag him, perfect. And then uh, we'll go ahead and name this Moonstar. Put it in the middle. Moonstar Smithery. Boom. So there we go. So now we have uh, Mr. Moonstar here working on some stuff. We'll have to get him like some kind of tool or something. I don't know what I'll give him. Maybe an axe or something that looks hammery like. And then this should probably go somewhere that makes a little bit more sense how i put it right there it would probably make a lot of sense and yeah i think we can call this done except 
wanted to I wanted to throw in just a little bit of decoration here. We'll just do that together real quick. How about that? I'll uh, we'll throw in a couple of these guys right here like this. I think looks good. Um, apparently, I knocked that out, so we'll switch that back. And uh, yeah, I'll just mix a couple of these in. Maybe we'll throw in a vine or two in a couple of uh, places. Nothing too crazy because I don't want it to look too overgrown. But giving it a little bit of age, I think, would do it some good. All right, well, now I feel like I need to find Jess so she can help us out with our mine shaft area here and the uh, smithery up there. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do to find her so we can kind of put a bow on this thing and call it all done. Okay, I did find Jesse. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Hi. I I did a thing. I did a good thing. Good, good thing. Okay. All right, follow me. Follow me. Okay. Uh, uh, a, I'm hoping it, that you think it looks good because after you build my uh, built my amazing blacksmith, I think this one that I built. See this guy right here. Oh. I'm, I'm hoping that it looks good for what we're looking for in the village area. Okay. Yeah. Can you work with this? Maybe yeah. you like this. I think so. Okay. So, okay, guys, that's that's a big checkpoint check mark for us. We got Jesse's approval on this. I really like that you added the shutters on the outside. I like that. That's really nice. And we have our we have our little uh our little like forge area here. Oh. And then, and then okay. Al also as a bonus, look, I didn't go like all the way down and through, but I built like this little like area here. Oh, it's kind of like a like a lead down to a mine shaft. Yeah, like you know the 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 guy has workers that go and mine out the ores, and then they come up, bring them up, and he forges tools and stuff for the villagers. That's handy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> didn't want didn't want creepers falling on your head. Yeah, they like to do that actually. <laughs> um, but you're gonna notice something. Can you come here, please? Okay. Can you come here. Yes. It's so so while I Whoa. did a good thing on the outside. <laughs> Um, I, I didn't do, I didn't do anything on the inside and while oh, I could, okay. I could probably spend hours in here and have something that looks like an eight year old did it. You <laughs> could probably spend like a quarter of the time and have it look really amazing. And it doesn't need to be like r super crazy. Cause it's just, just the, like the village area or whatever. It looks like mm -hmm. I, I missed some, I don't know how I missed the concrete powder there. Um, but <laughs> I was like, is there a deck or something? <laughs> no, there's definitely not. Um, but I was hoping maybe you could think up something simple to go in here just to kind of fit the theme of the, the village. Yeah, I, I think there's some stuff I could do, but okay. Did you want upstairs to be like a living quarters or is it just for height? Um, that can be up to you if, if I, I cause I kind of thought about that. Like if it was functional, it would be a living quarters, but okay. if, if you just want to close it off, I mean, you could just close it off too. It's kind of however you're feeling when you do it okay yeah i i think that this is a decent enough space i could definitely throw in some you know workers areas downstairs maybe put some rafters close off the space so that we don't need the living space but okay. it will still look good from the outside but no i think i think this is definitely something that i can work with for sure awesome and do you think you could throw together also a very little something down in that little like work area I have down here, like things that would maybe make sense for a miner to have a couple of yeah. bits. Make it. And I kind of like that. It's still in progress. Yeah. So I, I can definitely throw in something to make it look like it's intentionally not finished. Okay, good. Like yeah, it's a I in progress. because I intentionally plan on not finishing it. <laughs> so, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I I think I can do that, no problem. Awesome. Well, that that is fantastic. Um, I have other fun plans for this area around here too. You want to know what my next fun thing is? Yeah. Maybe it'll be another good thing that you like that I do. I, I want to oh, tear. Okay. I want to terraform <laughs> all of that over there. That like ugly like hillside. Oh, you're gonna terraform. Yeah, yes, I can do it. I, mean, I can do it. I, I, I believe you. I'm excited. It, it might not be like Jesse level terraforming, <laughs> but I think I can, I'm. I can do decent at terraforming. It'll it'll look okay. It'll look okay. Well, I am definitely excited to see how it turns out. I mean, selfishly, I I hope you do real good because the less that you know, I have to terraform, the better for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome well yeah i do plan on doing that that'll probably be my next thing and uh, maybe i'll show it off to you when i finish it up and hopefully you give me your your approval for that too 
I can definitely come and inspect it. I think that that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds fun. Usually I'm the inspector around here, but maybe right? there, al- there always needs to be somebody <laughs> inspecting the inspector, I guess. Yeah. Who watches the watchers, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, Jesse. Well, yeah, that's all I need you for. Thanks so much for helping me out with okay. this. And if you need anything like material wise, let me know. Otherwise, I'll give you a, a ring when I'm done with that. Or you can give me a ring when you're done with this. Sounds good to me. Thanks, awesome. Ral. Thanks. All right. Well, it looks like Jess is going to help us take care of everything here. I can't wait to see what she's able to do in the uh, room in there and down there in the in the mine shaft as well. That'll save me a lot of time at, at trying to figure that out because I am so not good at this at all. Um, and then, yeah, uh, I think next we're going to get to working on one of those projects I mentioned with her. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to work on yet, but it'll be one of them. And yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Goodbye.